Hi, I'm Chris Lane, Senior Product Manager for Building Automation System Control Products at Johnson Controls, responsible for Facility Explorer. Today I'll be doing a quick demonstration of the FX system user interface and highlighting some of the key features that a building operator would use in his or her day-to-day -day operations. The Facility Explorer system user interface allows operators to interact with the system. Normally, a system user interface is fully customizable, meaning that it is fully designed by a controls contractor or a systems integrator or an ABCS working in collaboration with the end customer's operator in mind. Johns Controls Facility Explorer provides a default system user interface that can be used as a kicking off point for developing the system user interface. Shown here is an example of a demo system user interface. This is the home page view. And on the home page, you'll see a picture of the building, which again can be replaced by an actual image of the building for your specific site. And then a list of links to various different features and areas within the system user interface. Let's go over here to the systems area and select one of the devices. Let's pick this PCV1832, which is one of our VAV box controllers. This is an equipment view which is in a graphical representation of the VAV box and all of the information sourced from the controller. As you can see, it's animated, so you show airflow flowing through the VAV box damper, and you'll see text boxes showing the current values of various different points for the controller controlling this VAV box. Over here, you'll see the set points, and I can change those set points from the graphical interface by right-clicking and selecting Override and changing the value to the desired new set point. Let's choose 73. This equipment view also has tabs to various different features within the equipment. Shown here is the points tab, and this lists all of the points for this VAV box. The extensions tab is unique to Johns Controls and is a tabular view of all of the points defined for that device, and it allows operators to simply add point extensions such as trend extensions, alarm extensions, and totalization extensions to points in the database, simply by using a checkbox. So if I wanted to start trending on the supplier temperature, I can select on that box and select a change of value trend and hit save. The totalizations tab brings me to any runtime totalizations that I may have defined for that particular device. The alarms tab links me to the alarm console. The alarm console allows operators to view all of the active alarms being generated for this specific device. The operator can select a specific alarm and then perform certain alarm management features. For example, the operator can acknowledge the alarm. They can add a note to the alarm. If there is an audible alarm indication, they can silence the audible alarm. Or they can filter the alarm to order the alarms in an appropriate fashion. The Histories tab links the operator to live histories or live trended points. And you can add a history simply by navigating to the appropriate point and selecting it. In this case, I'm going to select the effective zone temperature and see the trended information for that. And I can pan and zoom into that history to see the information more clearly. The system user interface also allows operators to choose a sidebar navigation method to find information defined within the station. Some of the features that are unique to the Johnson Controls Facility Explorer system user interface are the point summary manager. The Point Summary Manager is kind of like a poor man's reporting service, allowing operators to quickly generate tables of points based on a template or on a query. As you can see, I've got three point summaries already defined. Let's take a look at the site set points. The site set points history shows a table of all of the devices and then a table showing the various different set points where applicable. So you can see for this device, PCA 3613, all of the set points, like the cooling occupied set point, the cooling unoccupied set point, the effective cooling set point, the effective heating set point, and so on for all of the various different devices defined within the station. You can also create new summaries using the command here, shown new point summary. And again, either using a template or using a query for the points within the database. Another feature that's unique to Johns Controls Facility Explorer's system user interface is the schedule manager. The Schedule Manager is an organized list of all the schedules defined within the station, and it allows operators to quickly access that specific schedule, or the desired schedule, and then interact with that schedule. So let's take a look at the AUX schedule that's been defined within the station. And you can see the wizard that is presented is very intuitive appearing wizard that allows the operator to define the repeating or regular times of occupancy that occur throughout the week. 
If needed, he can change or set a specific special event based on a calendar view. For example, if there is a holiday that needs to be defined that has a special schedule assigned to it. Another feature that's unique to the Johns Controls Facility Explorer system user interface is the link manager. It allows operators to quickly generate and create links, such as sharing outside air temperature from one device across others. And the point group manager, which is a manager that allows an operator to create folders of points and organize those points within a group. This interface has been demonstrated using the workbench view, and I'll also jump out to Google Chrome to show you how it also appears in a browser. The system user interface is designed using HTML5, which is very compliant to most browsers and allows you to access the interface without any type of third-party plugins or client-side applications. I'll log into the site using my credentials for the admin user, and you can see that the interface is nearly identical to the one that I was demonstrating using the workbench. And that concludes the FX system user interface intro demo. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please contact your Johns Controls representative.